Today we are just going to uh, solve our problem of how to read French without a teacher. Exactly. Question that comes to the mind of students is that it's written something else in French but it's read something else. Uh, that is a basic problem students are facing. So this lesson is all based on phonetics. We are not going to use phonetic sounds because signs, sorry, because they are very complex. I'll write uh, words in phonetic signs, then it's going to get very complicated. So instead of using phonetic signs, we are just going to use some phonetic phonetics or you can say diphthongs, which are actually coupling of one, two or three uh, letters together, producing one fixed sound. Uh, diphthongs are actually, I'm repeating again, single letter, double letter or triple letter which are producing one fixed sound which is throughout the whole word or in repetition of many words is very high. It is very important sound and they come again and again and again repetitively. Uh, they never stop. So they are approximately 21 uh, diphthong sounds uh which we are going to learn today in this video so first uh, letter we see in french is a the letter a gives us the sound this is one letter but still it's a diphthong it's a phonetic uh, word and the sound is very high it's a if i add one or two words with this then it is going to be like la ma pa sa so and so on even in the longer words ka pa bleu like that second is uh, we have a a and e give us the sound of a example is like uh, me je le these are the examples with the diphthong a and we are going to see this one very uh, frequently throughout the whole uh, french language whenever you see these diphthongs their sound is fixed you're not supposed to change that next is o a u third one it gives us the sound of english letter o examples are o this is whole red as O. Even a low. Wazo. Longer, uh, longer word. Wazo. Bato. Shapo. Now, if we make plural of O, we are going to add X. X. This also gives us the sound of O. English letter O. And the examples are, again, I will just make plural of wazo and shapo and bato. That's it. I hope this is all clear with you. Why I'm doing this is simply because if you see these letters or diphthongs somewhere in French, reading French, the reading becomes easy when you see these uh, diphthong because their sound is not going to change all you have to do is you have to just memorize them <laughs> sorry pardon and then the fifth one is on a n gives us the sound on it's it's very nasal on on the whole pressure comes over here on so examples are like on i just added s it doesn't make sense. Uh, it means ears. So, en, don, don means in. Put the glass, put the water in the glass. En. So, uh, sorry, don. So next is um, en again. The same sound uh, with the same sound. A N and A M both give us the same sound. En. Examples are chant and champion so this is the uh diphthong with on now we have bleu 
be el a whenever you see this uh, together these three words now this is a triplet diphthong this is going to give us the sound bl bl it this is all over here this por this portion over here bl bl capable and memorable cartable mm, cartable memorable uh, capable even possible so this is going to be your fixed sound this is not going to change then we have eighth sound which is sh c and h c and ash whenever you see them together they are going to give you the sound of sh sh chapeau sorry chapeau chapeau chant chauffeur i'm not going to give you the meanings of all these words because we will do that later on for now we have to just memorize the uh, sounds we have to just understand the sounds keep watching this video two three times and try to make notes this is how it's going to work otherwise not ninth sound is of the in, uh, letter a uh. a uh. i am going to add a couple of uh, consonants in front of this well like l m t s so this is a uh, which is coming in the end and it's very powerful you know m t s next is o o like don don lente which means long lente next we have o sorry a uh. e and u gives you the sound a uh, which is going to be like f p you're going to use this a lot p is going to come a lot because this is negation this is going to come a lot and if you add x in the end of eu this is going to become plural this is going to become plural how plurals are done we will do that later for this moment you understand this if in the end of eu a u x you add then it becomes plural the examples with this sound again the same sound eu and ux the sounds are bilkul the we are having <laughs> same sounds bilkul <laughs> the same sounds uh like adieu <clears throat> je and uh, table plural tables or paintings now we have the very most asked question about the letter j as in g for goat that why it's becoming a j and why it's becoming g how does it happen first of all whenever it comes uh with e i and y e and y e i y e a e y whenever it comes with these letters it becomes j like gerir massage that is how it's going to become only these letters this is going to become j and hard hard sound whenever it comes with a o and u only when g is followed by these letters followed by these letters are going to come after g g will come first in hard uh, sound it will become g again repeating whenever a o u will follow g for goat g for goat will come first and the let these letters will come after then the sound will become g 
this is the very complicated sound for j and g like gar means station gar gar de means to keep and then gu taste so this is the example for it and then 14 number sound is wa o and i will always make the sound of wa examples are rua mua tua sua this video is going to go very long you have to uh, remember these sounds read these sounds again and again if you want to you know read without the help of teacher then uh, we have 15th sound which is uh, th sorry th t and h give us the sound of th th r th th examples are trois trois and then tre tre and then uh, 16th is letter ash ash which is going to be like om ont onet h is a sort of vowel sort of vowel it is silent and the vowel after it is going to be smashing the sound of H. Correct? Rather in French it is hush, ash, and then again vowel after this A E I O U A A E O U. Then the sound of this H will become very down. The other vowel will follow the sound of H with more pressure. And then in uh, number 17th and 18th we have. Uh, I N E N and I M giving us the sound of A. Eh. I'll give you the examples with A, eh, I N, like Gamma. See, Gamma is also having Ga, A, because A, I told you, if, uh, is going to uh, be uh, after, you know, G, then it will give us the hard sound. Gamma, A, Util, Enosant. N égal. See? So these are the examples with M. And then I am 18th sound. It is going to be like M mortel. Same sound. Like I am. Eh? And I am is also giving the same sound. Eh. M mortel. M portant. M ité. So this is the sound. And last three sounds. <clears> oh. <throat> O N are going to give us the sound mm. very nasal, bohat nasal sound, very nasal sound. It's mm. it's very sharp. Uh, chanson. Now see, there are three. Ch, on, son. Chanson. 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 And then we have bon, bon, don. These are the uh, sounds with um. And then we have 20th, u, u, the letter u, util, use, urine, unite, union. U sound is very, very hard, very, very uh, high sound. U is taking all of your breath away. Whenever you're going to say any word that comes with U is going to make your stomach go a lot inside. Try saying all of these words with your stomach inside. Like a real U, U, U. This is difficult and different. <laughs> Next is 21st sound, uh, which is like I double L. Whenever this sound is going to come, it is going to become e, 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 like in for me, for me, because a uh is in the end of the word for me. So this is going to get pronounced a very uh, like a typical uh, 
and e is also going to come there and then it is going to be very complicated but try pronouncing this for me for me and then fee fee this was the difficult les uh, lesson for you guys i know that uh keep watching this video two three times i will be uh you know uploading a text with an audio recording after this a very small short text for reading you know just reading uh, so that uh, you guys can do some practice of uh, reading uh, with these uh, diphthongs and phonetics keep watching lesson one two three four they are very important if you want to read french without help of any teacher try to practice them as much as you can and merci beaucoup au revoir <laughs>